Ah, Windows Movie Maker. That early 2000s Windows XP program used to edit so many old YouTube videos and home movies. And for good reason. It came pre-installed on every single machine running Windows ME and XP between 2000 and 2007. But recently, I've been wondering, can you still use it to edit videos today? Let's find out. So, naturally, I'll need a video to edit. I've decided to shoot a few clips of video as a kind of setup tour, because I never did that for 50 subscribers, and now I'm over 100. Whoops. I'm going to add a title, cut it down a bit, and add some royalty-free music. I'm going to be using this Canon PowerShot G7 from 2006. It's sort of period accurate, but it's pretty late in the era and uses SD cards. I'm doing the editing in a virtual machine because that will make things easier for me to transfer files, and is also faster than all my XP era hardware that actually works. Anyways, let's get on with the editing. First, I want to highlight some major problems using this program in 2021, mainly the lack of any video multi-tracking as far as I can tell. You can have up to two audio tracks, however one of them must be embedded into the video. A lot of buttons are really small, which was not a problem back then, but can be now if you're using a higher resolution display. For some reason, and I think it's a bug, if no clips are selected, you can sometimes use space to play, but never to stop. Seems kind of inconsistent. You also can't use the arrow keys to move frame by frame, only clip by clip. The default view is the storyboard, but I much prefer using the timeline view, which basically looks like a modern video editor. Luckily, Movie Maker will remember your last used view. Editing starts with this very useful tasks menu that guides you through all the steps to editing. Using this, I easily imported the video clips into the collection. You can also drag and drop the clips into the collection. Once the clips are in the collection, you can easily drag them into the timeline and edit them together. All the normal controls are here, like split, and they all have keyboard shortcuts. There aren't any particularly special features, but it does the job perfectly for basic clip trimming and combining, which is what most videos made with it were. You can also make an auto movie where it automatically tries to edit things down for you. I didn't find this at all useful, but maybe it's good for something? Let me know down in the comments. When it comes time to export the video, you have no resolution or frame rate options. The only settings you have are file size and bit rate for a variety of different very old devices. These do technically adjust the resolution, but it's a lot more tedious than just having a box to choose resolution from like all modern video editors. I hope you have had a blissful time watching the video. If this was helpful or interesting, click that like button, and if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button to support me. Follow me on my socials, linked in the description, and until next time, I'll see you in the future.